It can be really hard to find privacy nowadays. You know, houses are being built more closely together and it can be tough. So, I mean, when you have your property, you could be looking at your neighbors or you could be present on a very busy highway like we are here. I'm at Village Garden Center in Fishersville, Virginia, right on a main four lane highway. And really what we've done here is put in a few shrubs that will quickly grow and screen off the neighbor, but still allow you to see a beautiful view of maybe the blue sky or the mountains. Always keep in mind your air above you and your clouds are very important in your design. It's one of the elements we never think about. This is a fast growing shrub and it's known as Gold Rider Leyland Cypress. Compared to the normal Leyland Cypress, this is great. It only gets 10 or 15 feet by 10 or 15 feet, not 40 by 40 feet. And the color on this is phenomenal. These have only been planted here for one year. And right here, I have oh so easy roses. And uh, this is flower carpet, and it's a beautiful oh so easy rose that blooms all summer long, and it will get about six or eight feet wide by two feet high with beautiful color all season long. And let's look at some of the other shrubs that you can use to give you more privacy around your home. When you're thinking of planting a screening or a hedge, keep a couple things in mind. One is you don't need all the same plants. You can use, you know, three of this, three of this, three of something else, or seven, seven, and seven, or five, five, and five. Just don't plant one single row because it really looks more interesting if you have this planted among something else. Now, the reason it's important to understand your space is here's Leyland Cypress. This gets huge. This can be 40 feet by 40 feet in size. So here we are in many cases, we have this little space with this giant shrub that eventually we cannot cut back. We can, but that means to cut it back all the way to the ground and replace it. And we're really wasting our dollars. So make sure you match up the right size plant with the right size area. Let me show you a couple dwarf screening plants that you can use that are phenomenal. When you're going out and buying your plants that you might use for a screen or a hedge, don't let the size deceive you or fool you. This is a beautiful blue pine and it's Morris blue and it will get 40 feet tall. So make sure you really check the label and don't plant that plant that gets too big. I really like bright, colorful plants. And look at this yew, and the variety on this is bright gold. It's about four feet high and gets about six feet wide. So you can really mix up your border with the variety of plants that give you color and maybe even flowers if you're gonna use deciduous things. Again, always plant things in groups of three or five or more and stagger them. Don't plant plants too close because you'll have to go in later and cut one of them out or two of them out. And again, that's a waste of our dollars. I'm Mark Viette. Join me next time In the Garden. For more garden tips, go to inthegardenradio.com.